is that, John, anyway? I'll fix this. Who tied a knot in my phone for? Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you go For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care This offer void where prohibited. Some restrictions may apply. Batteries not included. I'm about to do my famous kitten mailing routine. No, Garfield. Where do you want to mail me? Where? Where else? Maestro? Abu Dhabi, it's far away. Abu Dhabi, that's where you'll stay. Abu Dhabi, be place to be for any kitten who's annoying me. Yeah. Abu Dhabi, way off the track. Abu Dhabi, now don't come back. Abu Dhabi, what a great thrill for any kitten who can make me ill. Now some take a train, and some take a plane, but I am sending you. Not by a boat, or even a goat, but in a box marked postage too. Abu Dhabi, you're what they lack. Abu Dhabi, now you're all packed. Abu Dhabi, a far commute for any kitten who is too darn cute. <laughs> Gee, maybe my conscience will keep me awake. Nah. Garfield! Garfield! I don't like running gags! Garfield! My little cousin will love this toy cat, Odie. I'll mail it to her. Yep. I don't remember that pack. Open it up, Odie. Nermal's probably inside. <laughs> yep, normal. Garfield's always doing this. You know, Odie, I think it's time we taught Garfield a little lesson. Right! Yes, master. Let's go. Serve it before it gets cold. Poosh, poosh, poosh. Gee, Normal isn't here. We can't eat until our guest is here. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I made this special dinner in Normal's honor. It'd be very bad manners to eat without him. We'll just have to wait. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? A use for normal. Okay, normal, you get a last meal. Normal? <gasps> Wait! Come back for him after dessert. Stop! My dinner is at stake. <laughs>
I have to get Nermal back. What a disgusting development. Uh-oh. I didn't realize what Garfield would do for a minute. Our joke's gone too far, boys. Hmm. I may already have won $27 million. They're heading for the central post office. Hmm. Dear Harriet, marry me or I will throw myself to the seals. I'm safe. I'm not safe. I have an awful feeling I'm about to be canceled. Ugh. Well, at least I found Nermal. Okay, Nermal, come out. I'm not mailing you to Abu Dhabi. Yet. That's not Nermal. Nermal didn't look this realistic. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. He's got to be in here somewhere. Find Garfield before my trick causes him to mail himself to Abu Dhabi. What? Trick? Since when did John get devious? Come on, fella. You're gonna help me return the favor. Let's split up and look for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing's head is completely filled with old socks. And it's still smarter than Odie. Now I address it to Abu Dhabi. Any sign of Garfield? Mm -mm. Ah! That's Garfield. I'd know that tail anywhere. Wait, hold that package. Stop. No, stop that plane. My God. Ah! Ah! He's, he's gone. Taxi. I didn't mean for it to end like this. He's probably halfway to Abu Dhabi by now. I don't know if we'll ever see Garfield again, Odie. It won't be the same around here. We... Hi, guys. Garfield? <laughs> Garfield, I'm sorry about that trick I played on you. I'll never do it again. See what you get trying to nail me to Abu Dhabi? You're right, Nermal. I'll never do it again. Promise is a promise. <sighs> and so King Arthur and his knights sallied forth against the beast. There's nothing like a good book and a cool mud waller on a hot day. Ah, uh, Orson, can you come here a minute? Sure. <laughs> Of course, mud's not so great on a hot day when it hardens on you. Oh, Orson! Oh, Orson! The shower is broken! No water! Do you know how uncomfortable it is wearing a heavy wool sweater in the summertime? Yeah, that means I can't shower the waller mud off either. Hey, I know how to solve this. Do any of you know where the old milk pail is? Uh, I think it's with some junk out in the tool shed. It leaks! The farmer was gonna fix it, but he bought a new one instead. What good is that rusty old thing? You'll see. It's gotta be here. Ah, there it is. Steady, steady. Uh-oh. Oh, where am I? King Arthur? Is that you? Is that me? 
Knights of the Round Waller, we are about to embark on a glorious quest for the glory of Hamelot. We're going in search of the Holy Pale. Yeah, but, 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 King Orson, that means we have to go into the enchanted forest where the terrible griffin lives. What's a griffin? It's a mythological beast that is half eagle, half lion. Have no fear, Sir Duckalot. I, Sir Cackalot, am here to protect you. Let's be off then. We're from Hamelot, we're bold, we're dashing, we're brave. Soldiers from Hamelot, and we've got a pail to save. We won't be stopped by dragons, thunderstorms, or hail. We love to find adventure on a really good yard sale. So with a little bit of luck, it will be easy to go pluck it. Wait a minute! Was that a chicken joke? We'd go all the way to Nantucket just to save a leaky bucket. We laugh in the face of danger. This griffin scares us not. So what if he's half lion and eagle? There are chickens in Hamelot. That was a chicken joke. We're from Hamelot. We're bold, we're dashing, we're brave. Soldiers from Hamelot. And we've got a pail to, we've got a pail to, we've got a pail to save. Arson, are you sure we're going in the right direction to find the Holy Pail? I'm absolutely, positively sure, Sir Egalot. I think. Oh my! It is the Griffin! Ooh. Uh, good evening, my suggests. You know, uh, this audience looks good enough to eat. <laughs> We have a marvelous uh, quest for you tonight. If you're looking for the Holy Pail, uh, you've come to the right place. Ooh. The Holy Pail. I knew we'd find it. Yeah, but how do we get past all the barbed wire and stuff? Uh, but seriously, uh, there's a way to get past all that junk and get the pail if you can get this clue. Uh, and now, a word from our sponsor, the Lady of the Lake. Remember, for the best in tropical fruit, uh, it's the Lady of the Lake. Ooh. The clue is Lady of the Lake. She can tell me how to get the pail. Yeah, but how will you get away from the griffin? Leave that to me. I know how to slay that monster. I'll use my mightiest weapon, a million one-liners for dangerous occasions. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. First, I think it's one of us. Me? Why me? Time to bring out your first guest. Uh, here's a young man who comes to us all the way, all the way from uh, Hamelin. A nice welcome, please, for Sir Cackalala. I bought a suit with two pair of pants, but it's too hot lately to wear both pair. <laughs> the only time I wear both pair is when I play golf. That's in case I get a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, stop. Ooh, you really slayed me. Keep it up. I I'll rescue you after we find the holy bail. But seriously, you want to have fun? Go into an antique shop and ask, what's new? <laughs> <laughs> Say, aren't you King Orson of Hamelot? Yes, uh, old lady of the lake. Ahem, uh, I've come for the secret of how to get the Holy Pail. Well, I can't give it to just anyone, unless their intentions are honorable, you realize. If I don't get back to the Enchanted Forest with the secret, the Griffin will eat the Knights of the Round Waller. Mm, not good enough. I, I intend to use the pail for the benefit of all my friends. Hmm, sounds like you really are the King of Hamelot. Here you go. This is the secret? What do I do with it? Oh, when the time comes, you'll know. Now, if you don't mind, I only have a couple of thousand years of my vacation left. I'll never forget my first words in the theater. Peanuts! Popcorn! <laughs> 
Ooh, what a fine act. Let's hear it for Sir Cackalot. And now for my feast de resistance. Just a minute. And now, on behalf of our sponsor, the Lady of the Lake, we're taking the Holy Pail back to Hamela. Yeah! What a strange dream. It gave me an idea, though. idea, Orson. But how were you able to find the bucket? Oh, it was easy. I had a dream that gave me an attractive solution. Uh -huh. One shower stall, one drain plug, and one ironing board. All set. Cowabunga! Surf's up! Why can't you bat at a piece of string like other cats? Ahem. Welcome to our class on humor. Today we're going to discuss how to be funny. That is not one of the ways. Humor is like dynamite. It's especially dangerous in the hands of amateurs. May we have the lights, please? Also not funny. <clears throat> the earliest known example of humor was told by a caveman named Shecky Hug. <laughs> Roughly translated, the joke was, why did the brontosaurus cross the road? Of course, even the first comedian had his critics. This was Uga Henny, the first heckler. <laughs> Over the years, man developed a more refined, civilized sense of humor. In ancient Egypt, for instance, they were far more sophisticated. During the Italian Renaissance, famed painter Leonardo da Vinci participated in painting, engineering, and low comedy. Fortunately, we are more civilized than that today. Well, some of us are more civilized. Alas, much humor comes from the discomfort of others. This is most evident in the kind of humor known as the practical joke. In practical jokes, you do something rotten to someone else and then laugh at their misery. Here are some of the most popular rotten things to do. Lights, please. Still not funny. <clears throat> There's the old rhinoceros in the bed trick. There's the old baseball team in the shower trick. Always a laugh riot. And then there's my favorite, the old third marine division in the dishwasher trick. That one takes a long time to set up, but it's worth it. Lights, please. Take note, if something isn't funny, you just keep doing it and eventually it becomes a running gag. Now this brings us to the basic question, what is humor? Ta-da! This clearly is not. Aww. Come back here, Stooge, and bring the slide projector. My well-meaning assistant did have the right idea, however. Silly costumes can be funny. Lights. See, it's starting to get funny. Man wearing scuba suit. Mildly amusing. Man in woman's clothing. Always good for a laugh. Man in chicken suit. <laughs> what can I say? Hysterical. Remember, wit, satire, clever sayings, puns, none of this is as funny as a man in a chicken suit. Here's how John usually dresses, by the way. This is right up there with the chicken suit. Now, in all of comedy, what is the most important thing? Timing! Uh -huh. I said, in all of comedy... Timing! Uh -huh, again. I said, in all of comedy, what is the most important thing? 
Timing? Correct. Let's see some examples of how timing is important on a popular Saturday morning cartoon show. Observe how crucial timing is to the following jokes. Mm, it's Monday. I hate Mondays. Is there anyone in the world who's dumb enough that they actually like Mondays? Well, I guess that answers my question. Okay, that's a timing joke. Now let's see how a timing joke can be combined with a silly costume for even more humor. Hmm, it's hockey season. I hate hockey season. Is there anyone in this world who's dumb enough to actually like hockey season? Well, I guess that answers my question. See how much funnier that was? Now let's try it one more time and add some cheap physical humor. Mm, uh, it's Groundhog's Day. I hate Groundhog's Day. Is there anyone in this world who's dumb enough to actually like Groundhog's Day? Well, I guess that answers my question. See, a laugh riot. However, this kind of cheap childish humor is fast becoming out of date. Follow me, if you will. Here at the National Institute of Humor and Mirth Analysis, scientists work around the clock to develop new, more efficient forms of comedy. This department is analyzing which words are the funniest when used in jokes. Pickle, funny, pretzel, funny, cookie, funny, steak, not funny, yellow-bellied, sap sucker, funny, dog, not funny, elephant, funny, chicken, extremely funny, lion, not funny. Years of testing have gone into asking the question, what makes people laugh? Even the old crude pie in the face has been thoroughly analyzed. You may proceed. <laughs> they spent six months just on whoopee cushions alone. All of this has led up to this moment. The computer, after digesting billions of bytes of data, is ready to construct the ultimate joke, a true example of humor for the 21st century. Here it comes, the joke of the future. In short, humor of the future will be pretty much like humor of today. Thank you. We're all done. Like... <sighs>